Good morning guys, and we're back to check out some more low carb bread products. Today I'm going to be taking a look at OLE or Ole tortillas as well as La Tortilla Factory and this new company that I found called No Breads, that's K-N-O-W Breads, thank you very much. So without any more waiting, let's jump right in and check out the first product that I have to uh, take a look at. First up, we have OLE. They're called Extreme Wellness High Fiber Tortillas. And there's a couple of different flavors that I was going to check out today. So we're going to start with just the original. Uh, so let's open these up and see what they're like. Now each one of these is only 50 calories. So you see, it's pretty pliable, pretty flexible. It's got a good bend to it. If you see, if you tear it, it's nice and springy. It's got a good chew, a decent flavor. It tastes very similar to what you'd expect from just like a regular old wheat tortilla. So let's see how much I can pack into one of these. Always like hot sauce. Egg mixture with some sauteed onions, some fresh tomatoes, and some sauteed uh, mushrooms. Really, really great. I'd say that's a pretty decent amount. And it rolls up, holds together pretty well. <clears throat> now for this first, the original flavor, I'm gonna give it a good uh, eight out of 10 for the flavor. I really like these. Uh, they have a lot of salt in them. And like I said before, salt really translates to great flavor in bread. It seems like the more salt there is, the better it tastes. That's just kind of how it is. And it really holds together. I feel like you could cram a whole lot of stuff in here. So I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 for structural integrity. So the next one I'm gonna be looking at is their spinach and herb flavor. So the macros for all these different uh, kinds of OLE brand uh, Mexican food tortillas are very similar. They only have a little bit of a difference in the sodium content. <laughs> Look at that, it's a nice green color, just like Christmas. Now the funny thing about these is that I uh, was looking at the ingredients list and noticed that it uh, contains yellow and blue food dye. So this is actually artificial green coloring, not actual <laughs> spinach coloring. You can see little spinach speckles in it, but I don't think there's a whole lot of actual spinach in these. Again, it's the exact same consistency as the original, so I think it's going to be a 7 out of 10 for the uh, structural integrity. If we could take a little bite, you can taste some of those herbs. It has this kind of weird herbaceous taste to it that's almost a little bit like lawn clippings, I hate to say. So I think it's going to be more or less the same structural integrity as the first one. Let's take a look with a complete tortilla and see how it holds up. I'm gonna try making a little bit of a chicken wrap with this one. A little bit of schmear on the bottom. Mix that with some fancy mustard. Gotta have chicken in your chicken wrap, of course. And as usual, I'm going to top it off with some spinach. There you go, that's not a bad looking uh, chicken wrap. That's pretty tasty. It holds together just fine, just like you'd expect out of a um, good wrap. I'm going to give this one maybe a 5 out of 10 for the flavor. I think uh, the coloring and that kind of weird herby flavor is a little bit off-putting, but yeah, the exact same 7 out of 10 for uh, structural integrity. 
All right, and the last entry we have from these guys is the tomato basil. Now these actually have some pretty decent spices in it. Let's take a look. Uh, so it has, again, the exact same consistency, uh, the exact same feel that you uh, from the other two. Now these actually have some paprika in them, which is kind of nice. It adds just a touch of heat to it. It's almost like just a little bit of warm flavor in there that you, you wouldn't be able to uh, get otherwise. So I think that adds a really nice flavor to it. Let's see how it works in a wrap. All right, we're gonna go a little Mediterranean with this one. Get some tzatziki sauce in the bottom there. Fresh made, as you saw. Some feta cheese. And come back with another round of chicken. All right, there we go. Nice Mediterranean wrap for you. I think that combination with the tzatziki with the paprika from the wrap is actually pretty good. A really good combination there. The tzatziki is nice and refreshing. So back to the wrap, the actual bread itself. This is really good. This is my favorite flavor so far. Like I said, it adds just a little bit of uh, taste to anything that you put inside the wrap. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for flavor and back to the 7 out of 10 for structural integrity because these are holding up really well. All right, and the final entry for today is going to be the La Tortilla Factory low carb whole wheat uh, tortillas. So these come in a couple of different sizes. I went ahead and got the smallest size so you might use this for like a small for like a small taco or tostadas or something along those lines. Right off the bat, these feel a little bit more brittle than uh, some of the other La Tortilla uh, tortillas or some of the other uh, different brands that I was taking a look at. And yeah, if I try to like fold this up a little bit, it already feels like it's gonna fall apart in my hands. So if I do tear a little bit off, Wow, that really tastes like crude wheat bran. Really not the best flavor. It has a good mouthfeel to it, but it really does taste like, you know, a bran muffin or something like that. So not the best flavor, but I'm gonna see how this stacks up when I try to make a little quesadilla with it. Real simple cheese quesadilla. So it seemed to go straight from not toasted to burnt. <laughs> I didn't notice much in between there while I was cooking it. Here we go. Okay, so I know that you're supposed to warm up tortillas and it's supposed to make them better, but I think that actually made that tortilla even worse. The texture was just off after I warmed it up it might have been because I overcooked it, but I really didn't notice any, anything in between, you know, not cooked and blackened. So I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 10 for flavor. Not very good. Uh, it didn't hold up structurally very well. I noticed that it kind of fell apart when I tried to work with it a little bit. So I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10 for structural integrity too. Not the best one out there. And here we are back in our usual spot. <clears throat> the first entry for La Tortilla Factory is going to be their light tortillas. These aren't particularly low carb uh, as advertised, but their total carb count per, per tortilla is 16 grams with six grams of fiber. So it's still pretty low in carbohydrate and only 80 calories per tortilla. So I think it was worth uh, giving it a shot.
So they really do uh, just feel like thin tortillas, maybe with a little bit of extra fiber in them. Uh, just regular old flour tortillas. You see, it tears pretty nicely. It's got a little bit more chew than most other tortillas, uh, most typical tortillas that you'd see that you might get um, for burritos or what have you. But the flavor is really just spot on. It does feel like it's just a thin tortilla with a little bit less uh, material than a regular uh, flour tortilla. So I'm going to see how easy it is to make just a regular old burrito with this. Start with some rice. This is shirataki rice. Wouldn't make sense to put rice on a low carb uh, meal. Meat. Some diced tomatoes. A little bit of avocado in lieu of uh, some guacamole. And last up, you can't have a burrito without a nice amount of cheese. So without that uh, regular rice or beans, it's still pretty low in carbohydrate. It's able to get a nice sized burrito out of that. So let's take a bite and see how it tastes. I feel like there isn't a whole lot of flavor uh, in this tortilla, it kind of steps out of the way and just lets you taste what you know, wrapped up inside of it. Still, the flavor is pretty nice. I think it has a pretty decent salt content, so it does have a little bit of flavor in there. It gives you a little bit of mouthfeel. Overall, I'm gonna give this one, we'll say a six out of 10 for flavor and a six out of 10 uh, for structural integrity. So pretty good, not the best, but still pretty good. All right, I wanted to switch things up for uh, these next two. Instead of going savory, I'm gonna try these with some sweet applications. So the next is the La Tortilla Factory, the low carb uh, flour tortillas. Now the effective carb count on this is only six grams uh, because it has 15 grams of carbohydrate and nine grams of fiber per, per tortilla. It's a little bit lighter on the calories with 70 calories per tortilla. They kind of stick to each other in the package. This feels a little bit more substantial than a lot of the other tortillas that I've been trying on a lot of the other flatbreads and wraps and things. It feels like it was a little bit harder to tear, so it might uh, be able to hold a little bit uh, more stuff inside and stay together without breaking up. So let's see about the taste. Okay. So there's a little bit uh, more chew in this, in this one than there is in some of the other um, options that are available. I see that these are primarily made with cellulose fiber and wheat gluten. So it is really just kind of fiber and protein up front with these tortillas. That's what makes them nice and stretchy, gives them a good uh, structure. So I'm gonna try making a peanut butter and banana uh, wrap. If you've never had peanut butter and banana on a sandwich or between two pieces of bread, you're missing out. This is one of my favorite, like, nighttime snacks. Got a banana nice and sliced up. If I was going really fancy, I might sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top. But we'll just go with that and see how it goes. Cheers! So I have to say, the light flour tortillas really do remind me more of a regular tortilla than anything else that I've tried so far. So I really like the flavor. That's just subjective, but it is very similar to a regular tortilla. So I'm gonna give these an eight out of 10 for flavor, and we'll go with a seven out of 10 for structural integrity. Since I think that, even though I wasn't really pushing this one to the limit, <laughs> uh, I think that it feels like it would hold together quite well if you crammed a lot of stuff in there. All right, and stepping away from the wraps and the tortillas, Next on my list is No Better Bread. This is a little bit pricey. It's a newer addition to a low carb bread. I wanted to check them out. Now one serving size is actually half a slice of bread. So these are a little bit higher in calories. Uh, so this piece of bread is two servings. Uh, each serving has 64 calories, four grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs and four grams of fiber. The effect of carb count isn't too high, but it does have a good amount of fat because it's made with chia seeds and uh, uh, almond flour and that uh, type of things. So if you're 
not afraid of going high calorie and just want to cut the carbs, this might be a better option for you. Let's see how this tastes. So it does have a lot of high fat ingredients. It really tastes like regular old wheat bread. I feel like it probably wouldn't hold together as well as uh, a regular baked bread, but still the flavor is there. And if you don't mind being a little bit delicate, the texture is a little bit off. It's more almost like pound cake or shortbread than it is actual, you know, sandwich bread. So I'm gonna try making a peanut butter and honey sandwich with this one and see how it goes. This is nature's hollow, sugar-free honey. So still pretty low carb. These are always a little bit messy. Yeah, since there's no gluten in there, it is much more like a cake consistency. Not so much that chewy, almost stretchy, spongy bread that you'd expect. So the consistency and the texture is not quite there but the flavor is really reminiscent of uh, the wheat bread that you know and love out of the package. Now that's not particularly bad, that's just my observations on it. So I'm gonna give this one, we'll say a seven out of 10 for flavor, because I really like it. Again, it's pretty high in fat, so I have a feeling that's helping it out quite a bit. And for the structure, we're gonna give it a five out of 10. Not quite what I would expect out of bread, but still pretty good. So that was testing out and reviewing seven different kinds of low carb bread options. Uh, we had the OLE uh, Extreme Wellness High Fiber brand, a couple of the La Tortilla Factory tortillas, as well as that entry, the new entry into the low carb breads, No Breads. And uh, No Foods, I think they're called No Foods, Smart Bread, something like that. They have a huge variety of uh, different bread items that you can try, like donuts and pastries. Uh, you, you should really check out their website, it's pretty cool. Now, as always, I've made all of this food and I can't let it go to waste. So, I'm gonna crack open a soda and feast on everything that I've made. Even this really mediocre uh, quesadilla. peanut butter and honey sandwich. This bread is so rich. I swear to goodness. It's like pound cake that isn't sweet. <laughs> Our Greek Mediterranean uh, chicken and tzatziki sauce wrap. With feta cheese. I really need to learn how to make falafel. I think this would have been great with falafel. peanut butter and banana. And last but not least, I've got all these scraps of the different tortillas. And I'm gonna have with some peanut butter.
that gigantic amount of fiber always makes you feel so full and so stuffed, even if the calorie count isn't super high. So there you go, guys. I'm gonna see if I can't add up all of the fiber that I've eaten uh, in this one sitting today. So I'm sure it's way too much, probably more than 100 grams. Uh, and I hope, to see, hope you guys liked the video. Hope you guys found it informative. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.